I've been doing a fair bit of woodwork lately. We're renovating the house and I've made one or two bits of furniture. I thought I would put a video out regarding mitering with a miter saw. Now the miter saw is only as good as how well it's set up. So if it's not set up properly, you won't get accurate miters. And if you're cutting a picture for him, if your miter saw is one degree, just one degree out, when you put that picture frame together, you'll end up with an eight degree error because there are eight cuts involved in a normal picture frame. It's important that when you get your machine, that you set it up properly. It takes about half an hour to set it up properly. And if you take your time, you'll end up with a machine that cuts accurately. To actually set the 45 degree angle up took me about five minutes. You've got to set the angle up that way. You've got to set the vertical angle at 90 degrees. And that's basically it for just normal mitre cutting. In the instructions you'll usually find exactly what you need to do to sort out tuning the tool up. On just about every mitre saw you've got one of these scales. And you can see that there are angles marked up on here. You've got 0 degrees for cutting 90 degrees across the wood for a square edge. You've got 15 degrees, 22.5 degrees, 30 degrees and 45 degrees. Now everybody knows or nearly everybody knows that 45 degrees is what you cut a piece of wood at if you want to make a picture frame. But what are these other angles? So very quickly, rectangle, hexagon, octagon, 12 sides. These angles are all preset, so 15 degrees, 22.5, 30 and 45. That just makes life easy. They're all preset. And that's all there basically is to a normal angle. If you're making furniture, there's every chance you're going to need to make a compound cut. Which means that you're cutting a mitre this way, and you're cutting a bevel that way. So you tilt your saw over to 45 degree on the bevel angle and tighten it up. You set your mitre angle to 45 degrees and you're ready to go. It won't work. So, and I'll demonstrate to you what will happen when you cut those joints. So that's one cut. I'll cut another one. So you can see that is nothing like 90 degrees. So you've actually got to work out what the mitre angle is and what the bevel angle is in order to give you 90 degrees if you're making a frame that's a hexagon you don't set your mitre angle at 30 degrees because it'll be exactly the same it won't work so there are ways of finding out what you set your mitre and bevel angle to and there are other ways of achieving the same objective you could actually set the wood up on the mitre saw 45 degrees and just cut a straight mitre. So if you set that at 45 degrees, cut your mitre at 45 degrees, you'll achieve the objective. But it's very, very difficult to place the wood in the right position and it's also quite dangerous unless you've got it supported properly. So I've done that in the past before I found out how to actually cut these on the flat uh, and you can do it believe me but uh, it's not nice so it's far better to actually cut it with the wood laid flat on the mitre saw so in order to find the angles that you need to set your saw to you need to know two things you need to know what angle from vertical you want the frame to be at so if you want it say 30 degrees that's somewhere around there if you want it 45 degrees it's somewhere around there 60 degrees it's somewhere around there so you need to know that angle so if you're making a tray and you wanted it at 45 degrees then you your first angle would be 45 degrees because it's coming 45 degrees from the vertical so that's 45 degrees so if you're making a four-sided tray if you're making a six-sided tray so we want our spring angle to be 60 degrees, we want it 60 degrees off vertical. So I'll put 60 degrees on there. Then I've got to set the corner angle, which is 90 degrees. And I press this button again. 
and it'll say corner. So I want a 60 degree spring angle, 90 degrees corner angle. So I've got the 90 degrees set. Now if I press this button again, it will tell me what the mitre needs to be set at. So that's a horizontal setting. And that's telling me it needs to be 40.9 degrees. So I need to make a note of that. And then if I press this button again, it tells me what I need to set the bevel at. And that needs to be set at 20.7 degrees. 44, 43, 42, 41. And then we'll tighten up our base. So that's set up 41 degrees. Now the bevel angle. So I've got to slacken off the clamp. So I need to set that to 20.7 degrees. There we go, that's the best I can do. So let's cut our pieces of wood again and we'll see what it looks like. I'm actually going to make a very quick compound mitre frame with these settings. So there we go, that's the frame made. I've glued it together and I had to actually pin it in order to do that. It's really difficult to clamp these things together when they're compound mitres. Now I could have used my adjustable band clamp but decided just to go for pinning and glue it. So it's been basically not together. It's, there's been no immense amount of time spent doing it. So let's see what we've got on the angle. This is going to be quite difficult to do because I don't believe it. Look at that. Would you believe that? <laughs> it doesn't come any better than that, does it? So 90 degrees. Uh, and like I said, that's all down to saw accuracy and setting your saw and tuning it. To actually make that frame took me about half an hour. In all fairness. And the, the most difficult thing was to cut these pieces the right length. Because you can't put one on top of the other you'll end up with one piece shorter because you're cutting down at an angle so it starts off here at the top on the top piece by the time you get to the bottom piece your blade is there somewhere I, I just like the way they look I think they look great they draw you in so if you made that into a picture frame it would draw you into the picture brilliant so it just goes to show you what one of these things can do if you set it up properly you can actually turn out accurate work in fact we'll go and look at some of the other things I've made with this mitre saw Ninety degrees, that's perfect. So it doesn't come any better than that. Well, there's a guy on YouTube who's actually a very clever guy uh, he's got a, a really good website he's done all the legwork for you so he's made a spreadsheet uh, with all this information on and I'll post a link I'll put a link on this video so you guys can see that and it'll give you everything that you need in order to cut whatever compound frame you want to cut if you take your time it is reasonably easy to make compound mitre cuts and turn out something that looks really good that's me finished Mitres and compound mitres. If you've got one of these and you've not tried cutting mitres on it and making picture frames or furniture or anything like that, you're really missing out. There's a real joy to knocking up a frame using your mitre saw when it all just slots together and I don't know, you get a real sense of achievement. And if you use compound mitres, it just takes that to a whole new level. It's great fun. And if you make something for the missus, I won't give you a 100% guarantee, but I'll give you a 90% guarantee that she's going to really like it. So you could make her a mirror, you could make her a frame for a mirror, you could make a frame for a photograph, you could make a frame for a picture. All sorts of things. Get out there on your mitre saws and give it a go. It's great fun. I hope you found the video useful. I know it's a bit complicated, but I've done my best. Feel free to subscribe 
and thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure.